He was asked about hostage negotiations in Gaza. Listen. There is some movement, and I don't want to, I don't want to, well, maybe choose my words. There's some movement. There's been a response from the, uh, the, the there's been a response from the opposition. But, um, it, it, yes, I'm sorry, from Hamas. But it seems to be uh, a little over the top. So that's right there, the reason why he's dodging the traditional Super Bowl interview. Even softballs from CBS are too risky. And now a new NBC poll says three-quarters of the country say Biden doesn't have the necessary mental and physical health to be president. On Sunday, the president said he just met with the French prime minister, who's been dead for 30 years. Right after I was elected, I went to a, what they call a G7 meeting, all the NATO leaders. And I sat down and I said, America's back. And Mitterrand from Germany, I mean, from France, looked at me and said, uh, said, you know, why, why how, how long are you back for? Biden sees dead people. But don't you dare ask Binder about it. How is President Biden ever going to convince the three quarters of voters who are worried about his physical and mental health that he is okay, even though in Las Vegas he told a story about recently talking to a French president who died in 1996? I'm not even going to go down that rabbit hole with you, what? sir. What is We're going to go. Hole? Go ahead. He said go he ahead. talked to Mitterrand. Go ahead. In you saw the president in Vegas, in California. You've seen the president in South Carolina. You saw him in Mich Michigan. I'll just leave it there. Uh, saw him and still in peril.